you don't play well the, before a holiday, it's, it, it ruins, really ruins the mood. And uh, I haven't been sometimes in, in losing before holidays the best, uh, the best family member. So winning uh, a game before the holiday is really special. And then the specifics of this game and that I thought, you know, for us uh, coming out of the gate really well on, on defense. And, and really locking in and following our game plan, which led to missed shots or turnovers. And then we got up, you know, real early. Aaron made a couple of big baskets to, to, to get us out to a lead. Uh, and then they, they had to play, you know, from behind. And, and it was an uphill climb from there. And, you know, they're very good. They're very old. They're very talented. And I was waiting for them to counter punch. And they did a couple of times and talked about it at halftime. Where, you know, that we didn't get their best punch yet. They're coming after us. And I thought we stayed solid. You know, I can look at the film and maybe see, you know, a little stretch here, stretch there, where we didn't do what we needed to do on both, on either end. But over the course of 40 minutes, we made many, many more plays uh, that were winning plays, and and it was a result of uh, of just following, you know, each other, belief in each other, and you know, obviously, uh, Aaron played really, really solid. He has been for for the whole season for us, and Mike really played very well today, and Billy was solid and so you know we got contributions from from a lot of different people at different and key times to to help us out but I thought you know our defense in particular was was really really good today I didn't obviously follow that during the course of the game and my, my concern was one and he he, he hurt uh, us last year uh, was they were so balanced whether it's him Kavanaugh or Larson down low and McDonald up front that any one of those guys can have big nights and so uh, our guys stayed in front of people. You know, we didn't allow too many clean drives to the basket. And when they had to make extra passes, we were there on the catch. And our rotations were good. And uh, and I thought our communication, which I've been harping on them, uh, was really good. So so you know we guarded him. But I thought you know as a five-man unit we guarded pretty well. And then uh, the first eight or nine minutes they rebounded offensively pretty well. But then we shut that down a little bit too. Uh, that that would require um, that would require me to kind of look at it from a different perspective I, I just try to be day by day hey guys let's get in the gym and, and and play you know to our potential let's get better let's get better and so you know you take each step as it comes each game as it comes and so our game plan for the two two days that we had to prepare or preparation for for George Washington was hey what can we do well against them and, and take advantage of maybe some things we see and what we have to pre prevent them from doing. And so that's that's 100% of, of what my focus is. So I'm not trying to avoid the, the question, but um, you know, I, I just I, I think every game you have to treat the same and, and uh, you know raise to a level uh, of play both emotionally and physically that's going to allow you to, to be in games like this. One, one of the things I told the guys right after that game and, and the next day is is uh, I thought we played hard. You know, I thought we played hard enough to win. Uh, we battled. Uh, we just didn't, you know, take the three phases which are critical to us. Uh, that playing hard is good, but it's not enough. You got to play in intelligently, and I don't think we finished the game especially as intelligent as we needed to do. And then when you don't do those things, you don't play as well together. And so, you, you, if you put all three of those things together, you're going to have a great opportunity to win this game or, or just about any game you, you want to you want to win and so that's what we talked about so it wasn't about lingering it wasn't about feeling sorry for ourselves or even you know when we get back after the holiday it's not about rejoicing it's about taking care of our business and allowing ourselves to get better that was that was my worry particularly at halftime is that you know we, we had held them down uh, field goal percentage wise and and they had only had you know 29 points to average you know close to 80 and so you know, I, hey guys, they're going to make a run. They're going to make a run, and we've got to be ready for it. And so, uh, what what we talked about is just whatever little adjustments we need to make, and just continue to have them have to have them make the next play. If if they have to make the next play, and we're there on the catch, and we don't let clean drives get to the basket, we we protect ourselves uh, inside out, and then we rebound the basketball. Then, and hopefully, we can come down and have some success on offense. And and uh, fortunately for us, that's what happened. I thought it was good, and the funny thing is, when the offense is really good when the ball goes in the basket, you know. So, and and basketball, we can make it as complicated as we want. It's a make or miss game. You know, you get an open shot, some guys make it, some guys don't. Some days they do, some days they don't. So, I don't want to be that simplistic because sometimes it is. And and but a byproduct of making those shots is how you prepare. 
uh, how you prepare, how you work well together, how you believe in a system, how you believe in each other. And I thought today that we shared the ball as well as we had uh, all season long, and we kept them playing a half a pace behind. And you know, when the ball moves uh, faster than a body, then you can have driving lanes, and then you get open shots, and then people foul you more, and those kind of things. So I thought that's what that's what we did today, and it you know gave us more confidence. And when you have more confidence, you make more shots. A long conversation the other day. We watched we watched a Northwestern film start to finish, and my, my whole thing with him is I think, you know, he's he's he's, he's a competitor, and and he, but he's a nice guy, and he wants to please. He wants to please me. He wants to please his teammates. Sometimes, you know, if you if you're going to be that guy, then you got to please yourself too. And part of that is taking good shots and and knowing that you're good. So we talked about the three phases, and I thought that uh, obviously coming from last game to this, he didn't he didn't miss all five of his uh, his three pointers. He passed up some mid-range shots, which he made today. I think he does a really good job in that area. And then he didn't finish as well as he needed to at the rim. And, and he's got to make adjustments even today. More two-foot jump stops, more lift fakes, get himself to the free throw line, those kind of things. So we, we talked a long time about that, and I thought he was much more assertive as a result. You know, I told him, act like you've been there before. You know, if you, if uh, and it's not the first time he had a dunk. It's not the first time he dunked on somebody. And so, you know, uh, yeah, I think it was a good play, but uh, he got a technical foul, which sat him down for the for the rest of the half. And so, I look at it a whole lot differently. You know, I I'm, I'm not one of those people that watch Sports Center and jump off the couch when people make spectacular plays because, you know, you, you're supposed to do good things if you think you're a good player, and then, and that's what happens. So, I don't want to diminish it, but you know, I was more concerned about the aftermath than than the dunk itself. You got 18 bear of games in a league that you know you guys see Villanova has been the kingpin and they're very very good. But now you got uh, two other teams in the top 10 and and uh, Butler is right there and you know, Seton Hall is playing well and on and on and on. So the 30th is going to be you know one of many many challenges for us and we can't fret against. Northwestern, we are not winning. We can't get overjoyed tonight by winning uh, against a good team. We've got to go back to work. And if we're going to be any good, we've got to be a, a, or have a hard hat mentality and know that we've got to play the game a certain way.